Hello, it's the 15th of June. It's the night before Ben flies out. This is our last training update before we start. So Ben, how are you feeling? Are you all set? I am all set, as set as I'm ever gonna be. I have a bike that is packed in there. So that's ready to go, the precious bike. So you can't ride without one of those. I also have kit in plastic bags. Now, Robin loves a plastic bag. What's the purpose of the plastic bags, Robin? She put me onto this. Well, not only does it keep it all neat and tidy, but after a long day's riding, you don't want that mixed up with your clean clothes. So <laughs> put it safely in a plastic bag and it's kind of quarantined from everything else <laughs> till it can get dealt with at some point. Well, you wash it in the shower. That's the one joy of it. You, you end up doing that. So yeah, so that's a good thing. So all my bag, all my clothes are in plastic, plastic bags. bags. I feel like I'm going on some Duke of Edinburgh Duke exposition. Camp. And the only other thing I believe that I need, apart from a fat wallet and a credit card and some euros and some pounds, is the ultimate cycling accessory. What's that? Chamois cream for your pressure points. Pressure points, the, con the points that come in contact with the bike. So that goes on at the start of the day to uh, just ensure that you uh, are comfortable sitting on the saddle. And if that doesn't work, or even if it does work, as a precautionary measure... Pseudo cream. Now, Robin, well, how do we know this? When, when did we first start using this? Uh, for baby's bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> Nappy rash. Nappy rash. It's, um, it's magic cream, it fixes things. So we're gonna, we're gonna put our faith in pseudo cream. <laughs> and, and there was a bigger box than that, a bigger tub, and Robin said to me, why don't you get the big one? I was like, I can't afford to carry it, but I might be ringing it for that. So look, a bike, some clothes, some cream, some money. Uh, what else do we need? Have we ridden enough? I think so. I think, well, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> I'm nervous. Well, yeah, yes. You've got what? You've got how many more weekends here? I've got another two weekends where I can ride. So I've still got four big days I can do, plus two weeks that I can go on the um, turbo. So lots of time yet. No. Yeah, and I feel a little bit underdone. I feel as though I could have ridden more. But that's not a bad thing given that I've got three weeks of riding. So I'll ride and I certainly won't, certainly won't be feeling fatigued when I turn up. My only challenge is I've got a few people to catch up with in the UK before we go and then once we get on tour is whether I just, I don't, I can't go into party mode, you know, just start eating and drinking. So we've done everything we can. We've fundraised well. We've enjoyed the training. Yes. We've, we're all set to go. We just got to get there now and enjoy it. I think by the time I get on the plane tomorrow at four o'clock Friday afternoon, I have that first, uh, first beverage and I settle down for 24 hours of rest, um, then, the, then the adventure begins. And I think, you know, it'll be fun. And then once you arrive, it kind of will just take on a completely different flavor as well. So what more could we ask for? Very privileged. Yes, feel lucky to be. I choose to do this and I'm lucky that I can. Very good, will you miss me? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they won't. They're gonna have a great week, and they'll have a better week in London. And then you might not even turn up. You're having such a good time. Well, who knows? Anyway, no, can't believe it's been December. We're done. We're all set to go. We will vlog. We will blog. We will keep you up to date with what we're doing. Appreciate all your support and all your sponsorship. And uh, we'll uh, wish us luck. Bon voyage. Yeah, bon voyage. Cheers. Bye. Cheers, bye.